That music is by John Penman, again, by the way. He was super cool um, in letting me use his music for stream. So go check him out, for sure. He has some good music on Spotify. All right. So excited. Continue. 
We are back. I have been hyped. I, you know, that might be obvious by how soon I'm streaming after the last one, <laughs> but this is a good game. And yeah, I can see myself putting a lot of hours into this one, so. My brother recommended this one to me, actually, I think. Yeah, so we're probably gonna be playing this one for a while. But I think it's a good one. Maybe I'll make some other stuff in there, but so it's just not just Outer Worlds for the next few months or whatever, but okay. I still don't know if there's a way to put away my weapon or if I just I stand with it out all the time. What happened? Sprat fell into a transform okay. So let's take a look at our quests. Um, okay, so this this was the book that, uh, what's his face, the guy said to look for over here, I think, right? The church guy or whatever. Uh, yeah, so this one should be here, I think. I wonder if it's leading me back to the guy and I have to like actually search for it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do this other one first then. The, um, checking Zoe's house. Right. Oh, is this it? I'm here, I guess. Oh. Okay, I almost stole that. Not gonna lie. Okay, I don't know what. Maybe not. Oh, what? Well, I don't know. It's acting like it's down. Okay. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Ooh, what's this? But I would be stealing it. Oh. Is a what the hell? One of us want to go see what happened. Don't see why Thomas can't just get the generator up and running. Something I could help you with? Uh, I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Hmm. What was... What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? I can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down. Thank you for following Azale. She called it journaling, but I think it's just like odd. Hold on. There was something else. Hey, I got time. Um, what are you selling? Nothing. With the power gone, we've got to conserve our supplies. Ooh, 
I have more questions about Zoe I'll then. help if I can. Never mind. Hmm? Okay. I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so I have to find her journal, maybe? Ooh, what's in there? I guess I have to go around. Oh, same place, I guess. Okay. Oh. So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for prosperity's sake, because I've always hated the, can the cannery, and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much Andrina time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Andrina time and suddenly you're com committing larceny. Hmm. Bruh. <laughs> you can't be sneaking up on me like that. Shit's kind of spooky up in here. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the head of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules, I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of, some of Adelaide's food and I've got some spare cans of Saltuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Andrina time too. Everybody loves Andrina time. Even Marauders, right? I got odds these Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Andrina time before their eyes. This is gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders on my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some reasons. Ooh, level four. So she went to join the marauders, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Ten points. Let's see. melee because running a little low on ammo now and having to use that a lot thank you for following Volody. hi Brian. <laughs> I missed you oh my gosh how are you Venus the meanest. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Um, I was talking to Lauren. Um, she mentioned wanting to stream Russia Blood too. So I told her um, me, you, me, you, and Lauren should do it because you were wanting to also. Yeah. We have to do some more Jackbox games too. That was so fun. I haven't really been out since that party. <laughs> I've just been chilling.
What have you been up to, Brienne? Oh yeah, is it the, the same one you were talking about at the party? Same boyfriend? Yes. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he sounds like the ideal boyfriend. <laughs> Hi, Alejandro. <laughs> Yeah, he seems cool. Thank you for following, Pollux. <laughs> Thank you for following, Alejandro. <laughs> I'm playing this lit new game I got. It's pretty sweet. It's called The Outer Worlds. I think uh, I think it's a pretty recent game. Like I think it came out like a couple of years ago maybe. Yeah, it's like like um it's like in space. And you have all sorts of different options all the time. It's really cool. Thank you for following Saxter. Like in the beginning, like it gave me like a whole list of like backgrounds my character could have basically that were like jobs. So I, I gave him like a medical assistant background so he would have bonuses. It's pretty sweet. Thank you for following, Zach. Okay. Right now, I'm trying to find, like, this... This chick that, like, disappeared, I guess. A while ago. Um... And I'm doing that... Because... Thank you, thank you for subbing, Brienne. <laughs> and it gave me a little pride emote because you subbed too. Isn't that lit? I just got affiliated today, so I don't have any emotes yet. But I think I'm gonna like commission an artist and then I'll have my own emotes and it'll be super lit. <laughs> he said, hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get some sub badges too, I think. So then that'll be like the little thing that's next to your name. So like right now... You have like a little, oh no, I'm dying. <laughs> right now you have like a little purple box with a white star in it, but I can customize those. And then like, I gotta figure out how to switch weapons again. This is the whole thing last time. <laughs> Um, what was it? Oh no. Okay, well. <laughs> I died. 
Okay, I gotta figure out what that button was. Auto save. But yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna update that. So then you'll, your little badge will be like something custom. So I was thinking like maybe like it starts as like a caterpillar and then like when you're set for a certain amount of months, it like goes in a cocoon and then it's a butterfly after that and stuff. Or I was thinking maybe fishes. And like it starts as like a guppy or something like that. I'm not sure yet though. Thank you for following. Okay, I need to figure out how to switch my weapon. Hmm. Here we go. It was triangle. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna commission an artist for all that stuff. Like emotes and the little sub badges too. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna do all this all at once, but I was thinking about getting like custom like little like the screen that says like starting soon or like um or like be right back and stuff like that hmm. I feel like I'm not actually doing all that much to him hurt you're right okay oh up. I keep pressing the wrong buttons oh my gosh thank you for following Laura goodness <laughs> Finally. Finally we got that one. There's like a bunch of others. Okay. 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 Okay, let's do this. Almost got them. Okay. Okay. Bye, Brienne. Enjoy breaking bed. All right. I think we're almost there. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Man, this is bad. Maybe we're not supposed to just run up in there. This is so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. That was rough. Thank you, Bohanna, for following. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to just 
walk up in there. Maybe I need to like sneak in there or something. Cause that was a lot. I guess like I'm straight up like hitting up the Marauder base. So maybe that's kind of a later thing. I don't know. Actually like, like maybe we're supposed to do some of this other stuff first. Hmm. Yeah, because that's kind of a lot. Let's see. Let's consult our journal. Um... I don't know. I guess let's go back to Edgewater. And do some stuff there. Maybe try to get the graveyard fee money or whatever, too. And maybe I need to upgrade some of these weapons or something. Get some more ammo. I don't know. Right now, I um, am doing the quest to get like the engineering books or whatever for the one guy. Forced worst. That's kind of rough. Oh my god, there are enemies all up in this place. Okay. Not be for me. Oh shit. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, here they come. behind me or something like that. I don't even know. He's not good, man. He's about to die again. Really kicking my ass. Yep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's not do that one. I think, yeah, I think I need to get to a workbench and just upgrade my weapons. Well, and I keep running out of ammo on the first gun, too. Yeah, so maybe a vending machine. Okay. Um this one. This one first. Why are there marauders in there, though? 
I was a little bit outside of the city, I guess. What are the Marauders even? Sword is hard to work with. Okay. That's the last of them. Okay, good. I got some ammo from them. Okay. Well, there is that. Alright, back to Edgewater. Okay. Now we gotta scare some folk. Okay. I like the Edgewater music. It's like Western. Better than nature. Oh yeah, I forgot about time dilation. I should probably use that more often. Okay. Okay, I guess. Ow, <laughs> damn. Okay. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the wind here. Hey, I need to talk to you. He's got a gun in his hand, the too. Law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. <laughs> really hit him with it. Silas sent me, you owe him your gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Uh, yeah. Gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Uh, 
so mechanical. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? If your resistance needs another gun, I'm for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Got tuna cans mostly, some spacer's chaw, a few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. <laughs> what do you need done? They have sent a scout, prowling around Hi. the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Um... If I'm going after this mechanical scout, I could use a couple pointers. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um, the, big the blue glowy square thing. <laughs> nice. Got a question for you. Go on. Uh, what exactly do you do I'm here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially, strictly between you and me, I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. I'll leave you be. Okay, well I got his fees and I got some extra money <laughs> for enlisting me or whatever. I wonder if I did just, if I did go to the ship, if I could come back here later. Or if that's it. Like, I go to the ship and then it's over. Like, none of these quests get done. I just want to see what happens. Like, where do I go? What do I do? Because it seems like there's a lot to do here. So I feel like, I don't know, you should be able to come back. Probably. I might have to look it up. Okay. Who next? In here, maybe? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Hello. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Who's Mr. Tomorrow. Thompson? Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Um. Why don't you tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state. Doesn't seem like it worked. Um. So you're Martin Abernathy? What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm just here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me Thank to you for following, Mendy. Knows what? I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Great cannery in the skies. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades I in forgot you? she was here. I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. 
He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. <laughs> I'm sure it's all very tragic and heartbreaking, baby, so I can get out of here. Thank you for following, Arena. I think I'm just gonna say I'm sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. Sad, man. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. Yay. But if you could see your way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Sure, I'm here for it. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Break into where? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Maybe I should have said I'll think about it. In my spleen now, I can feel it. Anything I should know about this community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken. Oh, that's where I just was and oh, died. <laughs> tracking mud all over the archives. I'll leave you be. Okay, let's get out of here. You're Next step. What? Bruh. Thank you for following. Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Um. <laughs> I've not lately seen a man with a bigger, more obvious crush. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Let's get back to it. Okay. We need nothing but salt food. Hey, you hear about Wilson? There's marauders down in. Just between us. The Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Okay. Hey. They're in their own conversation, I guess. I don't think I'm going in there yet. Man, where is this other arrow even pointing to? Oh. Interesting. Oh, I've, I've been here. I, wait. Actually, no, I haven't. Okay. go up here I guess there's a guard standing there but it just let me up you the new worker whatever make it quick tenderfoot I'm busy tenderfoot I guess you're the foreman foreman Granger mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you thank you for following <laughs> Gravesite fees, I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Dyer works with shop. Thank you for following Bazika. Damn. That's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Damn. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, 
I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handgun aren't the most reliable. Oh my god. This is kind of fucked. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. I thought you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. <laughs> I'm the one who wow. found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Really? <laughs> what are they gonna do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. That's crazy. He was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me Oof. for Eugene's graveside fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. This is a big bra moment. This whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. I'll let you get back to work. I'm out of here. Um, how many have I collected? Just need Conrad's gravesite fees now. All right, Conrad, I'm coming for you. Okay, in here, maybe. Oh, I could cut my own hair, but Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Okay, dude, this is sketchy as fuck. Who's coming out here for a haircut? <laughs> Damn. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. One in the chat if you would get a haircut from this guy. Um. Do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice oh, aesthetic so standards. Oh, so it's like this whole... You will also report to me in the event of your thing. death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. <laughs> Wild in. Prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. <laughs> wow. Speaking of burials, Silas sent me to collect your fees. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Um... That's some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. <laughs> Just give Silas an IOU. <laughs> Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. 
I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Okay. Well, now we go tell him the news, I guess. Wrapped it on. Wild then. It's like a dragon. Mm. Kind of wild. I got some crazy stuff up in here. I wonder if I took the the thing to my ship, if I would even be able to leave, or if it'd be like, oh, actually, you need this other thing too. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. What are you talking about, Silas? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. I'm sorry, Parvati. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Um. Hey, about those fees you wanted. Run into any trouble? Conrad says he can't afford to pay. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. Gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Are you suggesting extortion? Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. I'll take a look. <laughs> okay, let's do it, I guess. Shit. I don't really like that guy anyway. Alright. Help the chairman and Minister Clark defeat our foes. Hmm. They really have a whole political thing going on in the background too, it seems like. That we haven't really seen yet. Well, I mean, we've kind of seen some, I guess. With Spacer's Choice or whatever. All that military stuff. Okay. Damn. I just got bodies up in here. Hmm. Um. He said to look in the back room, I thought. Well, it's pointing me to him, though, so. What can I do for you? Um, you sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh. I gave mine a medical Am background. Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Um. Only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice certified surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 50... Thank you for following, Chief. I've got some questions for you. What do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. 
I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Belly aching. Why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Oof. Whose idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. Sounds exhausting. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. That's all for now. But it still what has the I marker. Go ahead. That was a whole ass plane. Okay, nothing. I'm supposed to find some dirt on him, I guess. <laughs> that was my mom trying to let the cat in. But then he didn't come in, so. Um. Search around Conrad's shop for some leverage. Yeah, it said to look in the back for something to blackmail him with, I guess. But I don't even know. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, letter from Phyllis. Conrad, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody had to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We'll sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Oof. Hmm... Is him maybe that seems like some good leverage okay now I try to convince Conrad what can I do for you I know about Eugene why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees you know about Eugene how I'm a mind reader I found a note from Phyllis. Ben, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. <laughs> of course. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice. I can't choice ask Silas to dig up a man's body that. and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious, ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. Oof. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Are 
Are you sure about this? I'm sure that I have no other choice. Here you are. Graveside papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Okay. I'm told Eugene killed himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Hmm. That's horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Hmm. Goodbye. Peace. Okay, well, let's go tell Silas, I guess. What's this? A movie? Movie poster? Agent Khan and Island of Murder? Wow. Where are the Oscars at? Blood and revenge are hammering in his head. They're like robots. Okay. Thank you for following, June. Uh, we need to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? You first. I know you buried him. Well, yeah. It's what I'm contractually obligated to do. What's this about? His solid gold teeth could be worth something if he pulled them out. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone, spirited away. Vanished. Do you think Adelaide what might have taken him? I suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. I'll keep an eye out for them, I guess. Let me know if you find anything. Got a question for you. Yeah. This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Um, you're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. How long have you been a junior in humor, grave digger, or whatever? Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. <laughs> uh, all my life? <sighs> Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Hmm. That's all for now. So, or is it? Why does it want me to talk to him still? It just says return to Silas. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. Oof. Um. Hey, about those fees you wanted. Run into any trouble? 
All done. Paperwork fees and signatures. Reliable word from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Persuade six. I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Sweet. I'll hold you to it. Goodbye. I don't want to ask for money. Okay. You have lost the fees. Okay. Um. Okay. botched I can actually like mess them up hmm okay what next um trying to figure out which one is probably the easiest. Okay. Maybe this one or this one. I think this one. Hmm. I guess I'll go through Edgewater. Or just around it this way, I guess. Yeah. There is a cemetery. Hmm. We've lost a lot of people for this really tiny town. Ooh, squeaky. Damn, y'all. Okay. Apparently there's a robot over here. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Bet I could fix him up smart. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Hmm. My engineering skill is pretty high, so maybe I should just do this. Engineering 30. I mean, I don't want to sound like an asshole. I can do it myself, actually, but I might just do that. That's not bad work, mister. Have you done this before? Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Whoa, hey, don't you owe me something for the repairs? <laughs> Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. I'll be going now. Laters, I guess. <laughs> Why did we fix that again? I feel like I've killed quite a bit of those. I conveniently, he's right here. 
I tell him that instead of destroying it, we repaired it. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. You won't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs. <gasps> Pulled its optic cables out its head case. Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. All right. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. All right, I'll leave you be. Now I gotta find some treasure. <laughs> The dissident. Oh, so I can break down some of the extra armor and weapons to make parts to upgrade other ones, I guess. That would be helpful as well. It's like propaganda posters and stuff. Okay. I need to find a secret weapon or whatever. Okay. You're not a big drinker, are you? Hmm. Sorry. I got a lot to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. Um. Just felt like chatting. Go ahead. Um. I was wondering if you knew anything about the Hope. The Hope? No. I've never mixed a drink by that name. <laughs> I could get you a rum and something if you like. Wait, no, never mind. We're all out of something. Hmm. Um. I guess this means I've never heard of anybody from the Hope. Yeah, I got vague recollections of some folklore about a mysterious colony ship. It's not folklore. I'm from the Hope. You feeling a bit flushed? Look, why don't you go set yourself down in the corner before you get all tangle footed? Um, I'm not drunk. I just want to know if anybody else made it off the hope. Then pretend you're drunk. Sober folk don't talk the way you are. Not unless they're looking for a trip to Tartarus. The hope's folklore, all right? 60, 70 year old folklore by now. The board don't approve of spreading seditious rumors and falsehoods. Oof. You're inviting trouble talking that way. And I don't want a part of it. You sound scared. Look, either shut your gob or stick a drink in it. We're done talking about this. Whatever, give me a drink. Coming right up. Ooh, I can negotiate prices. Um, interesting. Hmm. Uh, it's kind of expensive. Never mind. 
anyway. I don't even remember what I was doing. Oh, I'm looking for that gun or whatever. Hmm. Maybe this way? What the hell? Hmm. What? Hello? Um... How do I get it? Oops. <laughs> Thank you for following me, Yuma. <laughs> Man. That could've been bad. <laughs> okay, lady. Town's been humming with power. Somebody must have been down in the old plant. Mm. Yeah. Dude, what the heck? Thank you for following, Sufren. I don't know how to get this gun. Let's see. Secret weapon. Said it should be in the bathroom. Here's something I'm missing. What is the deal? Oh! I don't know why I thought it was like big. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, then. Need to go back to Ludwig now. It looked like a card. Mantisaur. Oh man. Got a feeling I'm gonna have to be dealing with all this later on. They wild in. Okay. Uh let's go find this crazy guy again. Ouch. I always do that right there. It's fine. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. 
I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Um... So what's next? I've come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Dude, I'm just a medical assistant. I don't know if I can do all this. Uh... Don't worry about that. I've already got a passcode from Reed. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. How am I supposed to get one of these logic modules? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, mm -hmm. the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. Um, Pravati, is a logic module something you can help us with? I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes, calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact, a real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those hmm. mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Edgewater is in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a <laughs> contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. Seems simple enough. If you die horribly... I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. <laughs> pour one out for the homie. Okay. I'll let you be. Alright. Oh, there's some vending machines over here. Okay. Hmm. I need more light ammo, for sure. Okay. Ooh. Don't have enough money for that, but... It would be cool, eventually. Hmm. I have like abilities as well. Cool. Well, at least I got some ammo. Yeah. Okay. So now I need to get that logic module. Probably gonna have to fight for it, I guess. I like how she's just sticking with me and everything. Like, we already finished that whole other thing. But she's still here. I mean, I guess I still haven't gone back to read, but you know. Still.
Am I gonna end up like on all sorts of different planets and stuff? That would be so dope. I used to skip rocks in the river till Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. I bet she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks or anything. Look out! Oh shit. I don't want to tussle with all that, man. Let's get out of here. Damn, we're going pretty far. Oh god. They're still chasing me! Wait. Oh shit. Yo, do you think she's okay? <laughs> or did I just ditch her? I think she's fine. Oh my god, Barbati, just get out of there. Golly. Okay, we're back here. We've been here before. Okay, well, let's hope she's okay and not dead. It would be ideal for her to not have just died from alien gorillas. Thank you for following at the Silent Wraith. Oh, I got a lot here. Thank you for following, Chalto. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Key cards. Thank you for following me, Steph. Have we found it? No, we're just back to the same place. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. In there. Hmm. I don't know that there's any other way to get in there besides having those key cards. Where do I get more key cards? Not 
that guy. Hmm. Self diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice, it's the spacer's choice. Um, you made it out of that junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. This is odd. Why aren't you attacking Hostile me? Actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion: All hostile. Auto mechanicals must be effective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Yes. Let me get this straight. You want to help me destroy other mechanicals? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Confirmation granted. I like the sound of that. New buddy. Okay. Oh, what's this? Volume three. Cool. So this one is here somewhere. Down in a place called the pit. Okay, so we can find that book around two in wherever the pit is. Get away! Dude, this guy is still here. I still haven't found him. Just looking for this book. Not real. You're not real. Oh, hello. There you are, finally. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Dude, how long has this guy been down here? Calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? Thank you for following, Jella. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See, see, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. <sighs> You're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I'll use it as a reminder. <laughs> Back away slowly. Um, how long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Uh huh. And what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years: Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender. Sisty pig tycoon. This guy is I've really a crazy. For someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Um, you were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, 
Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Um. If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Um. I can deal with mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Um, mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Any idea where I can find a logic module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. I wanted to ask you something. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular what? delicacy. What? How have you been surviving all this time? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. So you ate sprats. Braised. Boiled. Charged, Thank you for following, Roger. Shock full of brain food. What happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I should go. Okay. Book. Or whatever this is. Sweet. Okay. Now back to this one, I guess. Okay. I'm not sure where I'm going, if I'm just leaving or what, but you know. Let's go this way. Go! Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> that was the repaired one that was on my side. <laughs> I already fucking forgot about him. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder how far back this is going to take me. Oh, not very far. <laughs> oh my god. What a bro moment. <laughs> I went after him too. Okay, anyway. Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. I mean, I'm getting all this stuff I missed anyway, so. It's for the best. Hello? I want this. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Well, let's do this one again. 
That was a lot. <laughs> okay. Still pointing me in the same place. And I can't get in. Hmm. Dude, maybe I should have paid more attention to what he said. <laughs> uh. Hmm. What's this? Thank you for following on Jaden. Okay. This is new, I think. Yes. That um, did something. Let's hope it opened what I wanted it to. Maybe it just opened something here. I don't know. Uh oh. Did I just steal something? Okay. Well, I don't think anybody's watching. Let's go back down, I guess, to see. Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. So I need either 30 of whatever that is or the security chief's key card. Uh, let's see. I wonder if that's like something in the resource I need or whatever. Something I can find or like if I can buy it or what.
Man. I don't even know. Okay. Oh shit. Riot armor. Cool. Well, now I look exactly like one of those guys. That's fine. Yeah, I'll just use this. Something you need? You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you In about. The bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Mm-hmm. I'm going to guess you're not a drinker yourself. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. Um... Don't apologize. Oh, that's what I do. You'll tire of it soon enough. Let's get back to it. Thank you for following, Kiari. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's do this. this to find the entrance and then see well thank you for following white Russian I'm trying to find a vending machine or something maybe Spectrum Vodka, a glass for every class. Thank you for following Revenue. Hmm. Yeah, definitely a divided society. Whoa. This is so confusing. Oh, okay, this one is bad. <laughs> okay. Trying to save ammo. Oh shit.
I think I hit her body in that. Heading out. Huh? Okay. Okay. Uh. I'm going. Okay. Look for like this entrance. This entrance has a vending machine, I think. From the planet to your living room. Hmm. What's with the moon man? I guess space stuff. Spacer's choice. Okay. Mm. I'm not seeing any of what I need. Hmm. So you gotta find the chief's card, I guess. Shit. Well, now I need something different. Hmm. Those little ring things. Which probably we'll have to find. Thank you for following, Act Please. I wonder if I'll have to steal them. So I feel like I've seen a lot of those, but not for free. Hmm. I feel like I've really looted this place. I don't know. Let's keep looking. No, I don't want to use all my resources and pick that. Okay. Hmm. I just need like four more of those little ring things, I guess. Or the security guard card. Hmm. Been in here. Man, this turned into a real pain. Already got the little boxes under the pipes there. Huh. 
Okay. Mm. I'm not sure actually. Let's equip this one. Wait. Mm. They seem like they're the same now, but I thought it was saying. One of them had other things already. Well, whatever then. Won't worry about it yet. Hmm. I don't know. I might need to go out and get some more of that stuff and then come back. Hmm. Yeah. It's a rip. But yeah. I think we might have to get that stuff from someplace else. That pig looks so rough. Maybe we'll look for some of the other engineering books then, since we found one here. Just for now, to try and get more resources. Hmm. Hmm. I always get turned around trying to get out of here. Go. Wow. Okay. Ah, oh, the community center. Well, let's save <sighs> before we try and go in there again. Okay. Okay, let's try this again.
surprised I didn't freak out when I opened the door. Just keep on moving. What? Okay, I guess I'll leave. Hmm. Finest cigarettes and halcyon. worth cigarettes hmm Now what? Ah. Oh. I ended up following the... To go to the other book, I guess. Bruh. You get upstairs. Wait <laughs> right by that guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oops. I don't know though, honestly. <laughs> what is she doing back there? Oh my god, she's like dying. Ugh, it's the same one. It's... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get up there. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, here we go. Okay, now let's get out of here. Huh. We did it. <laughs> kind of rough, <laughs> but we, we made it out with the book. How does suck in here? Alright. Anyway. One last book. Thank you for following the day. Hmm. 
Try to save again. Okay. Oh, it's an edge wander. Interstellar Championship. Interesting. Hmm. Different, like, planets competing, I guess. Mm hmm Okay. It's in the cannery. Yeah. Okay. Up we go. <laughs> nice elevator music. Alright, well, now it says it's down, so what the heck then? Back. What? How the heck then? I guess it's a pretty big place. Maybe there's some stairs or something. Alright, let's go. Sweet. Okay, now let's get out of here. And we have all three, I think. Yeah, we can return to Thomas. Damn, this place is huge. Let's go back. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Thomas his book so he can be a real engineer. Good plan, good plan. Raising inspiration looks special attacks for you and your companions. Okay. Let's make our way back to the deserters.
they're still just standing there right by that fire. All right, Thomas, I have your books. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? All of them. Part one found it in the community center Look archives. At that. Building a computing machine out of spectrum potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. Hold on, I've got more for you. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Part two. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Hold on, I've got more Don't for you. Don't keep me in suspense. The elusive part three. Someone stashed it away inside the old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Miss Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little The deserters are now agreeable. You should fit right into your outfit. I should go. Yeah. Companion perks. So she leveled up too. Sweet. Okay. Let's do. Hmm. That looks good to me. Ooh. Special attacks. Okay. Cool. Double click jump when moving forwards. Oh, wow. I'm really OP now. <laughs> Level four. One of us want to go see what happened? I know. I'm trying to think. Sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do, is all. Okay, so let's check this out. All right, completed that one. Cool. Still don't have the parts for this one. Alright, this is back in the community center. So maybe we'll do that next. Back to the community center we go, I guess. Mm.
Ooh, something's going down. Or maybe it just always says that now from the power being out there. Might be the case. Oh, look. So cool. Let's do this whole thing again, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save. Knee center is always rough. Okay. Okay, go quietly. Oh, here we go again. Raptid on. Thank you for following it, Nagara. Oh, okay. Gotta be real. Quiet, like. Okay, I think it's in there, but I'm gonna open that just in case. Oh, we can't get in. Damn it. Alright. Oh, get one of these. First aid room key. Hmm. Following Kiki. No, don't die. Come on, come over here. God, Lee. <sighs> Man, I wonder if she like can die die. That would be pretty rough. Or if she just passes out or something. Hmm. Yeah. Because I don't think she has, like, gone all... The, her health has gone all the way down yet. Right, here she is. She's fine. Okay. Well, I think we're going to resume this next stream, probably. Got a lot of keys to find and stuff. And maybe we'll just go to the ship and stick the part in and see what it says, too. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this game is really fun. I'm looking forward to playing more. 